user groups. Here we are at a test site and I'm on the home page, not logged in. And so this is what I basically get to see this content here and I have this content over in the uh, main menu. So let's take a quick look and see what I've done on the back end and then I'll log in uh, with a couple other users and see how this whole user group thing works. Here I am in the same site in the admin control panel. And firstly, what I did was I created groups. So let's take a look at what I created. I created a group one and a group two. And you can see how many users I have in these groups right here. Pretty simple. I just said new group, group one. Uh, the only thing is I did make the parent register so they have to log in. And then the real secret to this, which took a while to figure out, is you need to do viewing access levels. You can't just make the group. It, it almost would seem that you could just make the group and that's it. But you have to say, uh, I have a group access level. So I would have said new title group one and then assign it to group one. So you see I've made two groups, group one and group two. And I made two viewing access levels that have viewing access to group one and group two. So now what I can do is I can assign my content and my menu items for that specific group. Let's just head on over to the main menu here. And you'll see I have a uh, flexi content article, which is specific to group one. I've called it group one content. It's just the name. This was convenient. And the, the key part is that down here under access, I have group one. Additionally, I have a group two content. Same thing, group two. One more thing is I have a module, a slideshow module, and you'll see that the access is only for group one. So let's see how that reflects on the front end. First, I'm going to log in as a super user. And as a super user, I've not assigned myself to either groups. So you see, I pretty much see the same thing, except I'm able to edit because the super user has editing capabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and log out now and log in as one of my users. Uh, user Fred is in group one. Actually, I think he's in group two. No, he's in group one. Okay, so I signed the module to group one. That's right, because that's my slideshow. And now you see I have this group one content that's only available to people who are in group one. I'm going to log out. And we'll log in under our other user. And our user has access to group two content only. And that's the simple long and short of it.